Now, this next woman who is coming up has been a longtime friend of mine, Holly Walter Kirby. Holly Walter Kirby is uh, the CEO, president, and founder of Fusion Science Theater. And their stuff is so cool because she has come up with a way to not only make these experiments exciting and not only teach the science behind her experiments, but to figure out a way to embed the assessment right into her program. How many people of you do science programs in your museums? Just curious. Just curious, how many of you uh, try to find ways either with pre-tests and post-tests to assess how much learning goes on? How many of you folks have uh, done that? You want to do that for your grants, etc.? Andrea did not raise her hand. That was good. Okay. Well, here is the deal. Holly has figured out a way to embed that right into the program. You are going to see something very cool now. It is called Choose That Catalyst. Let's have a nice round of applause for Holly Walter Kirby. Welcome. I'm your host, Holly, and we're playing the science game today. Read it with me. Choose that catalyst. Can everybody see it? All right, it says, choose that catalyst. Excellent. Now, a catalyst is a substance that makes chemical reactions go faster. And in a moment, you will meet three eligible catalysts, but only one of them can catalyze the reaction of the day. And it will be your job, the audience, to read it with me. Choose that catalyst. Are you ready to meet the contestants? Yeah. Well, here they are. <laughs> Catalyst number one is best known for its role in the dynamic duo known as salt. Please welcome the chloride ion. <laughs> Catalyst number two used to be used as a sedative but we have been assured there's nothing sleepy about it today. Please welcome BR minus the bromide ion. And catalyst number three is known for its heroics in protecting the thyroid gland in the event of a nuclear incident. Please welcome I minus the iodide ion. Catalysts are wonderful and amazing in their own right, but we, you know that only one of them will be the right catalyst for our reaction. And our reaction has been waiting here in a soundproof box <laughs> during this introduction. I think it's time to bring it out. Please welcome with me the lovely decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Here we have about 70 mils of hydrogen peroxide. It's, uh, it's a molecule that looks a little bit like water, but you know it has an extra oxygen, right? It's unstable if the molecules bump each other. They may break down or decompose to form water and oxygen. And just so we can see that oxygen and it looks like cool foam, I'm going to add some detergent or soap in there. So, here we go. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Do you see anything? Do you see anything? No, I don't see anything either. And that's because, of course, it's going so very slowly. It needs a little something special from a catalyst, something to activate it, something to get it going, something to turn it on. <laughs> and before the show began today, we asked this reaction what it was that it was looking for in a catalyst. And this is what it told us. Lend me electrons. That seems pretty straightforward. Lend me electrons. So now it's time, everyone, for you to 
Say it with me. Choose that catalyst. And here's how you're going to do it. If you vote for contestant number one, you're going to go, please use this finger. <laughs> and if you want contestant number two, the bromide ion, use this finger. Well, two of them. And if you want contestant number three, the iodide ion, please do this. And what about if you say, I don't know? Well, then you're going to go, OK, you got it? OK, so vote. Which one do you think will be the perfect catalyst? And everybody's voting. I can stop this show any minute. All right, thank you very much. It seems to me that the choice of this audience is, I don't know. <laughs> and that's OK, because actually, I don't know either. Because we know that it needs some electrons. But if you look at our catalytic contenders, I don't see any electrons, because as I understand it, they're too small to see. So here's what scientists do when they are talking about things that are too small to see. They make models for things they can see. So let's welcome our pre-selected brave volunteers to the stage because they are going to model these ions. <laughs> Wonderful. You can tell who they are because you can see that they're wearing their atomic symbol, right? And then right under their symbol is their atomic number that's the number, excuse me for pointing, that's the number of protons. And then on the outside of the atom, you can see that we have little black puff balls, which we are using in our model to represent the electrons. There we go. And also, there's a very strong attraction between the electrons and the protons. By the way, there's always one more electron than protons, because these are ions. And so that keeps those electrons fairly tight on the ion. Now, what did the reaction want? Do you remember? Four electrons. Lend me electrons. So I will be acting on behalf of the reaction. And trying to grab some. Now, will you be happy to let me have those? <laughs> Did you hear, Olivia? These are mine. Uh, but so we're doing a careful dramatization. You only see it here on this show. And your job will be to figure out which one of these ions would be the most likely to lend electrons. Here we go. Da -da -da -dum 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 -dum. Oh, they'll resist, correct? I just wanted to sing. There you go. Oh, that's better. There you go. Can you pass that down to iodide? Thank you. When I try to take them, they will resist. Here we go. Da 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 dum 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 da da dum. All right. Da 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 dum 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 da da dum da 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 dum 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 Thank you. Thank you to these models. Please don't bow because the costumes will allow it. Can you give them a big round of applause? Thank you. And now it's time, once again, for you to choose that catalyst. I want you to vote in exactly the same way. Chloride, bromide, iodide, and please don't forget, I don't know. Okay? So put up your hands so I can see. I don't know, it didn't make it this time. The audience has selected contestant number three, the iodide ion. So chloride, bromide, did a great job, but you weren't selected. It's time for iodide to meet the reaction. So let's get ready. The reaction, remember, is the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to put it in this container. I'm going to put the iodide, your selection, and I hope you did well because I don't have time to do another one. Here we go. Can I have a drum roll, please? Three, two, one. All right, so 
do you see any foam? Yes. Does anybody not see foam? Yes. No. Which means that you were right. And you didn't think about it by observing, by putting together information, by modeling and then predicting. You did science. Congratulations. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yes. We're out of time. But join us next week when we choose that catalyst for your mom and dad's catalytic converter in their car. Thank you very All much. All right. Holly Walter Kirby. That was awesome, Howie. I am curious, you know, in the real atoms, why is it that the iodine is able to, uh, it can't hang on to those uh, electrons quite as much? Um, there's electron shielding, and also that last electron is way out there. So the ionization energy is uh, much lower. So it's f harder for them to hold it in because those shells are much bigger That's over there. What so giving a clear suggest. visualization of that is awesome. How many would like to be able to do that kind of program in your science center? Just curious, curious. Holly, believe it or not, is giving that script away for free. It is awesome. Thank you for doing that. All you have to do is go on to fusionsciencetheater.org and contact Holly and say, I was at the Aztec conference, can you send me that script? Holly, you'll send it to him? I will. That'll be awesome. Thank Let's you. give her one more round of applause. Holly, welcome, Kirby.